Hey guys, um, this is my first screencast on WordPress. I got myself a fancy new microphone and a copy of Camtasia. So I thought I'd just get started and kind of wing it. Uh, pardon me if it's a little bit rusty. I'm hoping not to have to edit it too much. I may blur some things out. Uh, this is my actual development machine. Uh, so there might be projects I'm working on that I shouldn't necessarily have in this screencast. So if you see any blurred out elements, it's probably just me playing it safe. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is WordPress on the command line. Uh, if you don't use the command line at all in your development yet, you should really start. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see the advantages right away, but once you get using the uh, terminal on a Mac or command line in general, it's, uh, there's a lot of powerful stuff you can do. So WordPress does have some command line tools and it's called WPCLI. It's not built in, but this is the, uh, the page right here. And um, the installation instructions are right here. Now, I'm on a Mac, obviously. Uh, this should work pretty much identical if you're on a Linux system. If you're on Windows, it's been a few years since I've spent time on a Windows machine, but I always found this stuff didn't tend to uh, work quite as smoothly and uh, you might need to be a little bit more familiar about the differences between kind of Windows and, and Unix like machines um, and how something like a uh, Sidewin would work. Uh, you could give, give it a try I just can't be sure that it'll work right off the bat. So I actually already have this installed I'm just gonna pull up terminal here but if uh, if you were to do it you'd literally just paste this line in right here all that's going to do is download this .far file from uh, from GitHub, and uh, .far is just a PHP uh, wrapper. So basically, it's just kind of like a zip file of PHP uh, scripts that can be executed together, uh, like a Java jar file if you've ever worked with that. Um, but this is just basically testing that out, and then you, if you do these two lines, it's just uh, making that .far file ex. Um, uh, so you can execute it and then it puts it into your local uh, bin so you can access it from anywhere in the system by just typing WP and that's all that's happening here uh, I know it can be a little bit intimidating to paste these kind of things into the terminal uh, if you're not familiar with what's going on uh, so what you'll end up with is just something like this you hit WP and we'll get all the different commands and stuff that you can do and what I'd like to go through right now is, I guess, just setting up a new WordPress instance with um, with the command line, and um, yeah, and we'll just see what it can do. So I'm just going to type Q here to stop. All right, so I've got this empty directory I created called Screencast Projects. Uh, if we were to use WPCLI to make a new instance of WordPress locally, I would start by making a directory. And we'll call this uh, WPCLI test. And now we can see that it's there. Um, I also use uh, Pathfinder as my finder replacement. And so just for you, uh, anybody watching that's not as familiar with the command line, I'll kind of keep this here too. So there it is. There's my directory. And there's nothing in it. Now if we check out those help commands again, we can see right here there's a, there's a subcommand called core. And we can look a little further into that. I can go wp core help. Oh, maybe that's not how that works. Actually, maybe if I just run it without anything. There we go. Uh, so we can see all the different options. So wp core download, wp core install. Um, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't give you a crazy breakdown right here, but I know what they do, and so I'll show you. If we go uh, to the directory just created, let's go here. As you can see, there's nothing in there. We go WP core download. And there we go. We can start to see the latest version of WordPress being downloaded into this directory, and that happens nice and fast. It's a lot easier than having to go to, uh, you know, WordPress.org, download the zip file, unzip it, and all that kind of stuff. So now we can see we have that. Uh, let's take a look at the next part here. 
So what I'll normally do now is create a config file. So that's right here. Now we could go do that manually, but we're going to do this all on the command line because that's what this is about. So I'll go wp core config, and then we'll go like this, db name. And it doesn't exist yet. We're going to have to create that, but I'll call it wp underscore test. And as you can see down here, I'm using MAMP, and I just have um, my database user and password as root root. Now you never want to have that in production, I understand, but for my local environment, that's fine. And uh, DB host will be local host. That might be the default there, anyways. I don't. Well, let's see what it does. Okay, so we can see back here that. Uh, a new config was created. Let's just check that out. So we can see what it did for us. It created uh, exactly what I put in there, root, root, WP test, local host, and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Actually, I'm just going to move this into here. All right. So now let's take another look at this. Sorry, it's been a, at least a few weeks since I've done this. Okay, sorry, I blipped out there for a bit. I forgot what I was doing. Um, so now that we have that config file that we just looked at, what we actually want to do next is get into the WPDB section. So if we just type that, we can see a few things we can do. There's create, drop, export, import, all this. If I go WPDB uh, create, there we go, database created. Now it just used the config parameters I had to create that database. So I use something called SQL Pro on the Mac to look at my, manage my MySQL databases. So I'm just gonna log into my local host and we should see in this list, right at the bottom, WP test. I'm probably gonna have to blur out the rest of those. So uh, that's why. And as you can see, we don't have any tables in there right now. That makes sense. So now, um, well, I guess the next thing we want to do is actually see the site. Whoa, just had a major brain fart. This turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. Okay, so we want to see the site. Here we have our directory. Let's take a look. This is how I do it. It's going to be different for everybody. I, won't, I don't want to spend a lot of time here. I'm going to grab the path. And then in my favorites over here, I have my MAMP uh, Apache settings. And you can see that's already open. I'm just going to drag this down to my sublime text. And I'll just paste that here. Copy the last entry. So I'm doing a, a virtual host setup. Normally, I'd I'd make a URL for this, like something.dev, but because it's the first entry in the list, it should uh, work just at localhost. Save that. And stop it. Okay, let's see what we got. And here we're at the WordPress installation screen. Now we could just go through that uh, as normal. And that's probably what I would do. I mean, there is a WP core install command. And you just basically pass those same parameters along on the command line. In this case, I find it's a little bit easier just to do it here. Put my password in. Let's turn that off. There we go. Go back here. We should see we've got ourselves a brand new WordPress site. Hmm. Did this become the default theme? I missed that update. It's kind of nice and clean. Um, anyways, I just thought, I don't know why I took you through that whole MAMP thing, um, seeing as we're supposed to be doing command line stuff. Uh, that's kind of just normally what I would do, and I do it fairly quickly myself, but uh, there are other cool little tricks. Uh, for example, PHP now has a built-in web server, and if you just type, if you just Google PHP local server or built-in server, you'll get this. 
And it works just by running a command like that. So if I go back over here, and here I'm in my WordPress directory, and I just run that command, it's going to spin up a server, like a temporary map type server, at uh, right in this directory. So now if I go to localhost 8000, and actually I have that over here, but let's just, so you can see it, I can bring it up that way. So you can imagine now running those few WP commands, the download, the config, the install, and then boom, you run this, and you could be up and running that quickly with your own uh, local instance. Um, thanks for watching. This was definitely a little tougher than I thought it would be, and uh, hopefully I get better at it as I keep going. Take care.